white bear? An albano panda? No, it's a cuscus. Cuscus is a marsupial from New Guinea. It gets its name from the sound it makes. It lives in trees and holds on the branches with its opposable toes and its prehensile tail. Hi, I'm Jack Hammond. Join me on Zoo Life to learn more about the animals of the world. Have you ever had a cuscus on your head? to me. And the reason for that is probably because I spent my entire life working with animals. <laughs> I see funny. On this special edition of Zoo Life, you're going to see some of the funniest, craziest moments of my travels from around the world. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Now, sometimes, I'm the front of the joke. Hey! There are going to be moments of fun and moments of wonder. <laughs> playing in the water thing like I was told to do. I think I've learned. I mean, I, I'm no kid, you know. I am an adult. I know what I'm doing. I think I'm a child running around here getting wet, acting like a three-year-old. I'm going home. But they almost never let me go home. They send me all over the world. It's amazing what I put up with. The type of transportation they put me on. Buster. It's not that I'm complaining, but I'll oh, heck with it. I'm out of here. Trying to do a television show working with animals is tough. As any actor can tell you, you're always getting upstage by the animals. And sometimes they're not even subtle about it. Okay. Flying foxes. Flying foxes look like that. Really an entirely different life form. They're very common in Sydney. <laughs> There's an obvious reason why we're so fascinated by gorillas. It seems almost like we're looking into a mirror that reminds us so much of ourselves. They're such an intelligent and emotional creature. And if you spend any time at all here at the Columbus Zoo, you'll see why they're so similar to us. Uh, I'll get him, boy, I'll tell you what. I think the winner of any baby animal contest would have to be Benny. <laughs> I think the I think the winner I think the winner of any baby animal contest I think the winner of any baby contest would have to be the he was born just a month ago. Luckily for him, his mother took care of him so he didn't have to go to the nursery because I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. thing I've ever seen. But he's wild, he's, uh, he's full of curiosity right now. B, aren't you tired? You're telling me the truth. No, you've got to be tired. Hey. B, why don't you sit down and rest a minute? You're getting me tired looking at you. But what's this thing? This is our royal family, really. This is King. Hey, King, how you doing? We have Queen, Princess, and Duchess. This is an adult pair and two of their youngsters. Now, sometimes you see a camel, like, almost spit his tongue out. What, what is he doing? 
Well, that's a male camel jack in good condition. He's kind of showing off and marking his territory by blurbling his tongue out and making those weird sounds. Well, I gotta do it the dinner table. <laughs> well, I guess so. <laughs> King, well. Oh, oh, gosh, King. Mm. Oh, man. Why'd you do that to me, King? Smile all over me, buddy. Oh, your breast smells just terrible. Nick, you gotta brush your teeth. I love this camel. This is a nice one. I'm out of here. Mark, I noticed uh, the bear's been running around here making little speaking sounds. They have what we call kind of a trill. Uh, um, if I could do it in a bad fashion, it's kind of like a... And that mother will constantly call to the baby, and we think part of it is just because in the forest you need to keep communication, and sometimes visually, whoa, sometimes visually, it's tough to, it's uh, kind of tough to keep up with your kid. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go outside and take a rest. Okay. It was been pretty after that. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. My pleasure, Jack. Well, what about the elephants are doing today? Probably messy as ever. I've spent my entire life as a zookeeper, caring for animals. I'm not complaining, but it seems my work is never done. Sometimes I feel that my whole job is just to wait on the animals.
Here you go. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't what? like bananas. You don't? I bet bananas, you. but I don't want to eat it. I know, because it's all slobbled over by Harold. That's right. You don't eat what Harold's been eating. <laughs> you know, sometimes caring for animals reminds me a lot of raising my own family. The work must be incredible, though, with all these, you know, the feeding formulas and the times a day. I mean, 24 hours a day work. It's basically the same as children. The younger they are, the more often they have to be fed. And they want love. You can see that, yes. you know, this one just wants to be loved like anybody, oh, anybody else so. would. Very much so. Yes, you love Jack, don't you? And they you? all have individual personalities as well, as you can see. <laughs> I'm going to take you and spank this one over here now. Who helps you with all this? <laughs> You're about to. No way. Are you serious? I take all the time I get. Whenever someone comes behind this fence, I use them. Here's that. Let me change your diaper. Let me change your diaper, Will. Come here. Come here. Come here. Set you guys the paper. Come here. Come here. One more. Just one, please, me. Please, just one. Please. Please, here. Please, just for Jack. All right. Yay. She loves you. I know what you're doing. She's really not concentrating on eating at all. Good job. Good job. Now, who's this? This is Oscar. Oscar is 42 years old. He was hatched and hand-raised at the San Diego Zoo. Uh, an incredible bird, but he believes that we're condors, so he thinks you look like that. You know, I'm going to go in there and eat. I'm going to go meet him. People often ask me if I've ever been bitten. Yes, I have. More times than I can remember. But the trick is, you have to remain brave. My life's in your hand. <laughs> I'll protect you. Yeah, don't this bird pick me up and take me out of here. So what I'll do, just follow you? Yeah. I'm going to be a ghost. You guys. Where is he? He's around the corner. I'll get him to come out. Oscar? Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> oh, hi, Oscar. My name's Jack. Come on. Nice, Oscar. Now, 
What's going on up here? There's people everywhere. Oh, yes, uh, but uh, we are close to the place now where the squirrel monkeys get their feet. Can I feed them too? Oh, yes, yes. They won't bite me? No, no, sure not. No matter what, I've never lost my love of animals. In fact, I enjoy animals all over. The more, the merrier. Oh, wow. I can this is, wow, oh. That's what I do to our visitors. God, hey. Lemurs everywhere. <laughs> I know you. Are you a cuss cuss? Come here. Okay, say it. Do re mi fa so. Do re mi fa so. That's up to me. Do re mi. No, 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 rock, rock. Do re No, rock, you're leaving off me. Do re mi fa so. One more time, rock. Do re mi fa so. You're leaving off to me, rock. Do re mi fa so la ti do. One more time. Do re mi. Don't talk to the animals. Hear what they say. You just might be surprised and fun. question, but I feel certain that the answer is yes. I've always believed in education through entertainment, that through our enjoyment of animals, we begin to understand our connection to the world we share, and that what we come to love, we will work to save. Conservation Moment. The Pledge Made Real. Meet the newest member of SeaWorld's Auto Rehabilitation Program. Actually, he and Supervisor of Animal Care, Steve Lang, are partners in the Species Survival Plan, which helps preserve endangered species in many zoos across the country. This is Bailey. It's our short clawed Asian otter, and uh, he's about four months old now. He's uh, been bottle fed um, since he was about five days old. His mother wasn't able to care for him. So, uh, I'm Bailey's dad, full time dad. Like any proud papa, Steve has recorded his own home video of little Bailey's progress. Say hi, Bailey. It's just like having an infant, actually. I have to uh, plan my whole day on, on him, even when I get off of work. He goes with me, so. Any, any errands I have to do, I have to plan uh, his feeding and things like that, which is every three hours. After I leave work, I put him in a kennel and, and pack all of his things, his toys. He's got several toys he plays with. And uh, of course, we bring him home in the car. And then uh, as soon as we get home, he gets a bath, fill up the bathtub for him, put his toys in there. And that, that burns a little energy. It keeps him busy for about an hour. And it's just like having a kid. You always have to know where they're at. Poor buddies. Everything we do is together. And he, he likes he likes being around me, and, and he kind of talks to you when you talk to him. So you can hear him. He squeaks back. And, uh, hey. Hey. But he's all 
old enough, Bailey will join the other Asian otters at SeaWorld of Florida. Bailey's one of our main Asian animals we have here. He is part of our species survival program. And uh, so that will be his, his job here is to make more Asian otters. Anheuser-Busch theme parks. The pledge made real.